On Acoustic Tuesday, episode 28, we're gonna take flight. You're gonna hear from the front lines of the acoustic guitar world, and I'm gonna announce the official lineup for the Acoustic Life Festival. All that and more right after this. If you believe that playing acoustic guitar is about sharing the joy of music with friends and family, not just mastering the technical side of playing, then this show is your dream come true. Every Tuesday morning, I give you my list of exciting guitar geek discoveries, gear, and new music so you can stay inspired to live your best acoustic life. I'm Tony Castro, and this is the Acoustic Tuesday Show. Guitar geeks, unite. Welcome to Acoustic Tuesday, episode number 28. I am so glad you're here. And speaking of being here, I wanna make sure that you never miss an episode of Acoustic Tuesday. So right this very second, subscribe to this YouTube channel, click the red subscribe button, and then make sure to click that little bell to make sure you get notified every single time a new video gets posted. And of course, if you want it delivered directly to your email, which I strongly suggest, just click the link in the description. And once you do so, you'll get the show delivered directly to your email and full-blown access to my Guitar Geek list, which is something you certainly will not want to miss. Here we are, settled in on Acoustic Tuesday, episode 28. I've got a lot on my mind today, and of course, helping me keep it all situated are none other than Sir Noah Jacob Heckman Jr. the first, and Levi Tequila Coila, the man with the technical plan. <laughs> Guys, hey guys. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, Levi, I'm excited that the beard is, is making its way back. In one week, I grew it back. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of you. Yep. I'm pretty proud of you. That's a mouthful, so everybody knows that this is your first sip of bourbon because the things that you just got out of your mouth I... with, uh, <laughs> that, were, that were so articulate, um, it was amazing. I keep feeling, I'm like right on that verge of stumbling yeah. words today. Uh, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. Noah, how are you doing this fine day? Uh, Tony, I'm doing fantastic. Yeah? Levi's below me, right, still? Oh, yeah. Hey, Levi's yeah. below me. <laughs> I got Tony to the right of me. I'm doing really well, thank you. I am going to leave that one alone and get on with the show today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is nice to be with you guys in the same room. The trifecta is here, and of course, you are here watching, and I appreciate that a ton. And to kick things off with Acoustic Tuesday, we have a bit of a tradition, and that, of course, is your Guitar Geek Trivia Question of the Day, which will be as follows. In what year was the Harmony Musical Instrument Company founded? Was it A, 1892, B, 1916, C, 1964, or D, 1975? In what year was the Harmony Musical Instrument Company founded? 1892, 1916, 1964, or 1975? Go ahead and ponder that while I dive into the guitar geekiness that is Acoustic Tuesday, starting with item number five. Item number five is most likely the, the most supple guitar accessory I have ever experienced in my life. And actually, I came by this accessory via the mandolin. I'll explain. What I'm talking about are Lakota Leathers, Le Lakota Leathers Instrument Straps. <laughs> See, you, you planted that seed in my head, Levi. I'm talking about Lakota Leathers Instrument Straps. Uh, the Lakota Leathers Instrument Straps are made on the, uh, I gotta make sure I get this right, the Pine Ridge Lakota Sioux Reservation. And they use bison and elk hides to make literally the most supple straps. And these, these straps are understated, but absolutely gorgeous and so so, so comfortable. Uh, they make guitar straps, they make banjo straps, mandolin straps, resonator guitar straps, uh, and you can even go the custom route if you wanna do that, but their standard offerings are really, really outstanding. They come in very, uh, I'll, I'll call them guitar-friendly colors. Think kind of uh, earthy colors. You got blacks, different shades of brown, uh, and then their mandolin straps are actually braided, and the leather is so soft and so supple. It really, they're so comfortable. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, on my mandolins, I have uh, uh, two of the straps, the braided straps. I absolutely love them, and they're so comfortable. It's the kind, it, it just gives you absolute tactile satisfaction. Uh, you hold these straps, you touch these straps, and it's like, it's an experience, so I can't recommend the Lakota leather straps enough. And the cool thing about uh, these straps is that they are made right there on the reservation, providing an industry for the folks on the reservation. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Pine Ridge is a county that's uh, um, 
the um, lowest income county in the entire United States, according to their website. So uh, it's, it's all for a good cause and the product is absolutely outstanding. So check those out. If you're in the market for a strap, I think it's an experience that you'll definitely want as a guitar geek. Moving on to item number four. So we went, we went the strap route, we talked about straps. And we're gonna look at another understated guitar accessory today, and that is the cable. If you're an acoustic guitar player and you have a pickup and you go to plug in, it's not something that's really on the front of your mind. It's not something you think about. The cable, as long as it works and goes from point A to point B, life is good, right? Well, kind of. Okay, uh, I didn't really care much about cables until I really started playing a lot and noticed that my cables were breaking often. Uh, and, and I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm not doing like guitar flings around the head. I'm not doing roller coaster rides or flips or anything on stage. Um, but just the wear and tear of the constant uh, plugging in the guitar, plugging out of the guitar, throwing it in the case, etc., uh, definitely takes its toll on a cable, which is why I want you to be aware of the Planet Waves American Stage Cable. So quick story here. I got, uh, when I first got these cables, I bought two, one for each guitar, and then I bought an extra for each guitar. And you'll know by the packaging I, how tough these cables are because I haven't had to actually open the extra cables that I bought because the original ones are still uh, functioning perfectly well. These, ca these cables are incredibly rugged. Uh, they use a, I, I wrote it down, a Helio Fuse soldering, which you'll see in just a second. And what I love about these is the input jack, the actual tip of the input jack is, is designed in such a way that regardless of the tension on your input jack in the guitar, it stays nice, for, uh, nice and firm and, and super secure. Uh, so these cables, I cannot recommend enough. Um, I, I'm, I'm not endorsed by these cables. This is just a cable I purchased, uh, knowing that it was strong and rugged, and here I am to tell you that they're super strong and super rugged. Uh, there's a really cool video that I want you to check out right now. It's the um, the strength test for these cables. So it put it, it pits the uh, American Stage cable by Planet Waves against a Mogami and a Klotz cable as well. Uh, and it's just a fun thing to watch because you'll see just how tough this cable is. So let's have a look. Hi, I'm Rob Cunningham from Dario, and today we're going to put our American Stage Cable with Helio Fuse Soldering to the test against two top competitors to see which is strongest. We have our American Stage Cable, a Klotz LaGrange, and a Mogami Gold. To perform the torture test, we're going to secure each cable into our Intron pull tester. We'll pull each one to the break and we'll see which one can take the most force. Here we've locked each cable's plug in place at the bottom, secured the cable at the other end, and we let the pulling begin gradually increasing the pressure to test the strength of each solder connection. And our pull test has begun. So as you can see, the American Stage Cable can handle a lot more strain than the competition, meaning you can count on it to handle all kinds of abuse and still give you a strong, clear, reliable signal. So there you have it. That is the Planet Waves American Stage Cable. Again, just a super, super nice cable for, uh, you know, if you play often or if you just wanna buy one cable and not have to worry about it, it's a cable that I would definitely consider. Uh, as the strength test video was going, Levi was, was muttering under his breath how good it, it, the the uh, scotch was that he was drinking. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, Levi and Noah, you are sharing the same scotch today. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, it is true. And I before I was muttering to myself, I was muttering to Noah. I'm over here, like, you know, doing the the nonverbal. I'm like, butter, salt, brine, and he's like, ooh, really? <laughs> we're, we're like mouthing this to each other as you're talking i mean it's good it is good noah what's it called i can't pronounce yeah it. it's yeah it's okay <laughs> it is uh the new uh ardbeg uh scotch called uh anno i love ardbeg yeah yeah i know yeah so, anyway. <laughs> well this is some stuff. Yeah, this is a great yeah. segue to the mailbag oh okay because okay. as a bourbon lover generally speaking us bourbon lovers like to stick together and an acoustic tuesday uh viewer 
uh, named Jim Wise actually sent me a very nice note. And along with this very nice note, he sent me a, a bottle of Four Roses single barrel bourbon, uh, which is exactly what I'm enjoying uh, right now. So Jim and all the other bourbon lovers out there, cheers to you guys. Levi and Noah, I'm sorry that uh, you have that swill that you happen to be drinking. Understood. Cheers to, uh, to Jim. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I can appreciate your appreciation. But the mailbag, let me tell you guys, the okay. mailbag is, we're chocked full today. We're chocked full today. Let's hit it. Uh, so we have another Acoustic Tuesday viewer and Tony's Acoustic Challenge member, uh, Keith Bird, sent us a very nice note. Uh, uh, on a previous uh, hangout, uh, Levi was actually uh, commenting on Keith's profile picture and how cool his glasses looked. So Keith went ahead and sent uh, a Levi a set of those very glasses. So Levi's got some some sunglasses, and because because I'm Keith didn't excited. want uh, because Keith didn't want Noah and I to feel left out, we've got some uh, sunglass retainers for each of us. So we've got those and. Keith runs a, a store, and he does. He's involved with geocaching, which is something that's totally new to me. So, uh, Keith sent us each uh, some geocaching coins. So maybe on a future um, Tony's Acoustic Challenge outing with uh, Levi, Noah, and myself, we can go geocaching and stash these somewhere. I think that would be a good challenge because I don't know much about it. And, Neither do I. Uh, it seems, you know, a little out of my comfort zone. Just because it's new. <laughs> we could just walk around in the woods and film ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Things or whatever you do. Oh, I'm sure no shenanigans would happen at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, I, I I did another round of shopping on Reverb LP. Um, this happened last week, and I got some I got some new albums I wanted to share with y'all. Uh, I got Leon Redbone, Double Time. Really excited about that one. I got Fred McDowell, the Alan Lomax recording sessions. Super excited about that. I got uh, a Gillian Welch and David Rawlings, Harrow in the Harvest, brand new, still in the shrink wrap. Thank you, Reverb LP. And I also got The Times They Are Changing by Bob Dylan, a record that I fell in love with and never actually had on vinyl. So here it is on vinyl. I also got Bob Dylan's Self-Titled, which is another one that I fell in love with, and now I finally have it on vinyl. And of course, Roy Bookbinder, Traveling Man, which I am super pumped about as well. Some fruitful shopping on Reverb LP. And you thought the mailbag was empty. It's not, it's not empty. Uh, Levi, Noah, and I are going on a special, uh, we'll call it a tack date, an Acoustic <laughs> Tuesday date. So in the mail, I got uh, three tickets Ooh. here Ooh. to go see uh, I'm With Her. We haven't seen this yet, so we have no idea. So what, what is it? This is, these are three tickets to go see I'm With Her in uh -huh. Missoula. Oh, man. That's going to be awesome. So uh, Sarah Watkins, Sarah, Watkins. Sarah Jaros, and Aoife Donovan. We're going to go visit them and tell you all about it on a future show. The show's not until uh, April 8th. We might have to grab some video. We, to do a little we probably should. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the mailbag. Uh, I want to keep you guys, of course, in the loop on what we're up to, and the mailbag um, was the conduit for that today because we're going to go see a killer concert, uh, which I'm excited about. And speaking of killer concerts, I've got a um, very important announcement about the Acoustic Life Festival. I'm actually going to announce the artists that are playing the Acoustic Life Festival. There's four of them, ladies and gentlemen, four of them. But before I get to that, there's a lot to do today on Acoustic Tuesday. Uh, I'd like to visit our bearded brother, if it's okay with uh, with you two guys. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, Matt. Uh, Matt is on the front lines. Matt from Eddie's Guitars, and he is fielding a question about a guitar's resonance and what's the deal with some guitars just. Like, they just resonate. What's the deal with that? So Matt's going to go ahead and address that question on the segment we like to call, well, Ask Matt. Happy Acoustic Tuesday, my friends and fellow guitar geeks. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri, here with another segment of Ask Matt. Thanks again so much to Tony, Noah, and Levi for having me. And uh, I want to jump right into this. i got a great question this week um, from, our, from our friend Frank Walsh. He says, about a year ago, I had the pleasure to play a Martin guitar, and he wasn't sure of the exact model that he played, but he says, man, I could feel the body of the guitar vibrating against my chest uh, like I had never felt before and haven't felt again. And he mentions he's currently playing a Siegel guitar. Nice guitar. Um, my question is, what makes the Martin feel that way, excluding the strings, as opposed to some other guitars out there? And 
Frank, thanks so much for the question. Uh, and, and let me start by mentioning, I actually used to own a Siegel uh, guitar myself. It was an S6 way back when. I remember the guitar very well, and I loved the guitar. Great piece. And they're still making great stuff today. Um, I, I love that guitar, but uh, I think I had a very similar realization that, that you had when I started playing some of these nice Martin guitars, even some of the nice uh, well-made Gibson acoustic guitars and some of the other fine makers out there as well, there's, there's a resonant quality in the guitar. You can really feel how alive the guitar is when you're sitting down or standing up for that matter, playing the guitar. And uh, something very satisfying about that, it just feels like the whole guitar is working as a single unit, really doing its job very well. And uh, I, I think a lot of that has to do with the relative um, light build style uh, that Car that uh, Martin rather is uh, currently building their guitars and um, of course there was a, a couple pockets in Martin's uh, timeline where their guitars were pretty heavily built didn't get quite much of, as much of that effect out of their guitars but the 30s the 40s even into the 50s as well as the guitars they are currently making today you can really feel those suckers when you play them, especially when you dig in a little bit more in the, especially in the in the bass response out of the guitar. You can kind of feel it kicking you in the in the gut a little bit. Um, I pulled out just this is a totally standard current Martin D18, so Sitka spruce and mahogany back and sides. A great sounding guitar with a, a great full range balance voice. Um, of course, you folks on the opposite side of the screen there aren't going to quite appreciate this as much as I do holding the guitar. Uh, this is a guitar you can feel when you play it. And like I said, there is something satisfying about that aspect. I stuck the microphone out here today. I just want to do a quick bit of picking on this. I won't bore you folks too long, but um, give you an idea for how resonant an instrument can be when it's built well and not overbuilt like uh, like some other makers out there and let me preface by saying uh, there's nothing wrong with those more heavily built guitars there's great durability associated with those but again if you're looking for a little bit more intimate experience a, a more lightly built lightly braced guitar uh, is is probably where you want to head in the future so take a listen to the uh, the Martin D18 And again, take it from me, that is a satisfying guitar to play, a satisfying uh, experience to feel. I mean, you, not only can you feel it on the back of the guitar, you can feel the top resonating through your forearm, you can feel the neck moving as you work your way up and down the neck and, and uh, you know fret those chord changes. Uh, it's a nice feeling, and again, it's just, uh, it, it's kind of a feeling I associate with a quality, well-made guitar. So Frank, again, to ask, uh, answer your question, um, a lot of it has to do with the build style of the guitar. If it's a relatively lightly built guitar, uh, it's got some good horsepower behind it, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get that kind of sensation out of it. So uh, again, thank you for your question. And as always, if you have a question of your own, do not hesitate to leave it in the comments below. Put hashtag AskMatt, leave your comment behind it, and we will feature your question in a future episode of Acoustic Tuesday. Thanks so much. Have a good one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Matt from Eddie's Guitars in St. Louis reporting to us from the front lines. And of course, as Matt said, if you have a question for him, just in the comments below, put hashtag ask Matt and then go ahead and ask away. One of the questions that I want to ask Matt is, you know, I know he's a hockey fan, but why, why the blues? Why does, he gotta, why does he have to like a team that my team can't like? You know, you know, it's like I, division I, rivals. It's just it feels it feels dirty. But the Hawks are doing so poorly this year. I might convert to be a Blues fan just for the playoffs. But I don't, I don't even know if the Blues are going to make the playoffs. They I might. wish I knew. I wish I knew what you're even talking about. Well, the Hawks took a dive, and I, since then I've kind of checked out of the hockey thing. I like the hacky sack. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, oh, we got to take a look at a flight case, uh, but before I do so, uh, before we do that together, rather, uh, Noah, we've got some uh, some small wins to celebrate. Is that correct? Let's do it. Indeed, we do. All right. All right. Small wins today uh, come from Aaron, Andrew, and Daniel. And Aaron's small win is: I just purchased a new Taylor C14 CE. By far the best guitar I ever held in my hands, and I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. I was just excited. I, I, I was listening to the. Okay. I was li- I, I was waiting for your normal. While in, speechless, okay. In, it was my speechless reaction. It was the Should emoji with the X. Okay. <laughs> I was excited. So that's Aaron Small win, <laughs> the new Taylor. Congratulations on the new guitar, Aaron. All right, Andrew. And I'm also still thinking about Levi, like back in high school in the 90s, hacky sacking. Yeah, that kind of threw me for a loop there. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Andrew Small win. I just put on my very first set of Martin Retro Medium Gauge strings, and I am loving them. I also adjusted my truss rod for the very first time uh, for the right action with these strings. Adjusting your truss rod is really not as scary as you think. Nice work. Congratulations. And Daniel Smallwin. Uh, I'm a longtime player and teacher. Uh, due to life change, my guitar playing was down to a few times a week. Uh, my wife surprised me with a Martin OMJM. Oh, cool. The John and Mayer OMJM. and nice. I'm flying. Oh, I bet. That's he's, a killer guitar. He's, what, is he busting through the double doors? <laughs> is that a, is that a lyric from a song? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it is. Sorry, yeah. I thought it was just through the doors of the high school. Well, yeah, they're double. Are those double doors? Yeah, they're double. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Every high reasons. school. It's for safety. <laughs> <laughs> he then says he finishes up by saying, "Guitar is back where it needs to be, everywhere. Love the show and what you guys do." Oh, Very cheers cool. and happy new guitar day to you. That's awesome. Good small wins today, everybody. That was a good round, Noah. Thanks, Fantastic. Uh, thank you, Noah, for reading the small wins, and thank you all for sharing your small wins with us. If you want a small win featured, it's super easy. All you have to do is in the comments below, put hashtag small win, and then go ahead and describe your small win. Maybe you saw a show, got a new guitar, maybe you started to dust off the case of, of the guitar that's been sitting under your bed. Whatever the case may be, share your small win with us. It helps us with positive momentum, and of course, it just makes things fun. It's good to share the love, the guitar geek love. Hashtag guitar geek love. <laughs> <laughs> Shall not? we move on to item number two? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I get often asked the question, what's the deal with my case? Okay, and the case that people are referring to is uh, this one here. It's a white case. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of large, and it's well, it's white. Most guitar cases are black, and um, I get asked about this case often. Well, it's a Calton case or a Calton case. I've never, I've never actually quite understood how to say it. Calton or Calton? Uh, I'm gonna go with Calton. I might switch to Calton later. We'll see. Uh, but it, this is a Calton case, and this is one of the old versions of the Calton case, and that's actually exactly what item number two is, is uh, Calton cases, which are now made in Austin, Texas. They're absolutely stunningly beautiful cases and incredibly functional cases. Now, I, I say that this white one here next to me is an old one because the older ones uh, have some weight to them. Okay, uh, they are very rugged and very protective. In fact, I've checked that uh, three times now with no issues whatsoever. Um, but it definitely has some weight to it. The new Colton cases made in Austin have made some serious, uh, they've made some serious upgrades and they are much lighter and equally as rugged, if not more rugged. So I encourage you to check these cases out. Uh, they are worth every penny and they are custom built to your instrument. Literally, there's a form on their website that all you have to do is click on it. It tells you exactly where to measure, how to measure it. You fill it out and then you pick uh, um, the case that you want. Uh, these cases are made so well, and and literally this this case has gone with me on trains, planes, well, and in automobiles. The only thing that was missing was uh, 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 John Candy and Steve Martin. 
Uh, but seriously, this this case is is well, it holds a sticker very well, but it's super super rugged. It's been banged around and beaten, and um, it, as I mentioned, it's been checked three times with no uh, issue whatsoever. Not that I recommend checking your guitar, but if you have to check your guitar, uh, I feel very safe with my Colton case. So uh, thanks to the folks that make Colton cases, you guys do a great job. Uh, one of the cool things I like about Colton cases, which has nothing to do with their protection, and it has nothing to do with with how how well they keep the instrument out of harm's way is uh, the color options. Um, <laughs> and I know this is silly, but if you go on their website, there's that uh, the measurement page that you can download, but it all, you can also pick um, your color options from a plethora of colors. There's also a sparkle option and a splatter option for those um, who are interested. I'm looking at them right now. You, <laughs> and uh, you can pick the interior color as well. Uh, but these cases are, are, they're built like tanks and I just, I really appreciate them. Um, again, mine's an older version, the newer versions are even lighter. So uh, I just want you to know about those in case you happen to be taking a flight, in case you travel a lot, or in case you just want to protect your instrument to the best of your ability. A uh, Colton case should definitely be in consideration for you. So make sure to check them out. And if you're ever in Austin, I'm sure you could uh, check out their factory. It's a pretty cool looking place. And it looks like there's a lot of cool people that work there as well. So cheers to you guys at Colton in cases. Uh, holy smokes, guys, we got a list of things. I, I have I have to tell everybody about our artists that are coming to the Acoustic Great. Life Festival. I'm mm -hmm. so pumped. But first, okay, but first, there's a lot of important business that we have to get out of the way. I want to know how you feel about the show so far. So please, in the comments below, let us know what you think about the show. Did you make a new discovery? Do you want us to make a new discovery? Do you particularly love Noah's hair today? Do you happen to love that <laughs> Levi's growing his beard back? Whatever the case may be, please leave it in the comments below. And speaking of those comments, Noah, let's let's share some shout outs and some comments from uh, some previous episodes, shall we? I'm ready. Let's do it. Yeah. Go ahead, <laughs> Noah. <laughs> I love it. Right, because with the small winds, he always he does the mm -hmm. right. He does the signals. He does the signals. And then well, this maybe one, we should do a deal for you know comments. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we should. Okay, so, uh, so uh, for some <laughs> shout outs to those who have tuned in lately to the Acoustic Tuesday show: uh, Jewel, Joy, Walter, Ted, William, Andrew, Scott, Liam, David, John, Aaron, Blake, Jenna, James, Dennis, Curtis, and of course many more. Awesome. Cheers. Now, you guys, guys um, I have some comments set aside, but I also have. A good few of the hashtag, you know you're a guitar geek, when? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what do you want? Should I jump in to say some comments? Should I jump let's, into the... Let's do the best for last. Let's save yeah. the new ones for Yeah, last. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've been dying to know what the what uh, you, you pulled from the uh, plethora of responses we got. Okay, so here's comments. Okay. From today, or not from, for today, from the previous <laughs> Acoustic Tuesday show. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Ardbeg. <laughs> All right. Lee says, dang, it's my third Tuesday in a row. I guess I'm hooked. Great job, guys. Love the show. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, Scott, great show, Tony. And special kudos to Levi. Production values are going through the roof with all those fancy graphic effects, split screens, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Hey. Yeah, all I, right. That's our very own Levi Tequila Coila, the man with the technical plan. Scored a comment for myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about you. I wanted to get that in there. Appreciate it. Yeah. So it's from Scott and me. Uh, <laughs> and uh, next comment comes from SoCal Nell. Uh, catching the replay while working the Olympics. Best guitar show on the net. And oh, TAC no. is the most informative, supportive, and high-value guitar instruction source I've found. Thanks, Tony, and everyone at TAC oh, wow. for another great cool. show. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, all right. I'll stop there. Like I okay. said, I got some other stuff. Okay. So, all right. Back I'm to keep, you. I'm keeping on track here. Okay, good. Hold on, I gotta make my check marks. Okay, so you're you're coming back then to the other section? Is that what we're gonna do, or did you just well, say save it for last? Yeah. I I oh. sorry. Go ahead, Tom. I wanted can I can I just butt it? I'm gonna butt yeah. in real quick and then we can jump back to the you know you're a guitar geek. Play. Okay. Um so we've featured some guitar signals in the past on Acoustic Tuesday, and literally they've been building up. I've got a whole plethora. I'm 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 into that word today. I've got a myriad of, of choices for guitar signals to feature in upcoming Acoustic Tuesday shows. And I want your guitar signal to be, of course, one of those that I feature. So all you have to do 
is go to AcousticTuesdayShow.com and click on the very top. You'll see a paragraph. Click on uh, um, show us. Is it show us your guitar arsenal? Yep. Or feature your guitar arsenal. That's right. Click on that. All the instructions to submit uh, your guitar arsenal for consideration in the show are there. And I want to literally just pack as much guitar geekiness as we possibly can in. So uh, please, if you have a guitar arsenal that you want to share, if you have a guitar arsenal shirt, wear it, snap a picture, visit AcousticTuesdayShow.com, follow the instructions, and share your guitar arsenal with us. Noah, when do you know that you're a guitar geek? When do you know? So, you know you're a guitar geek when you find yourself shopping for a new guitar, you haven't paid for paid off the ones you currently have, <laughs> and another one is already due to arrive at the end of February. Okay, that's from Rich. Uh, that doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know, what was it? Levi came in like a week or so ago, and saw all your guitar cases yeah and he's like did tony get some new guitars <laughs> yeah, i'm like this, i'm pretty sure this used to be like four and now it's like 13 <laughs> all right uh you know you're a guitar geek when you find picks at the bottom of the washing machine accurate statement and that's from jewel and you know you're a guitar geek when you get a strange look from your spouse while watching austin city limits on pbs and you can't help but twist your head to try to read all the headstocks on the, on the acoustic guitars <laughs> And that was from VW Beetle 72 Jelly Bean. Nice. Um, Good job reading that screen name. Yeah, thank you. You know you're a guitar geek when you're sitting on your couch, looking out the window, waiting for your three hydrometers to come in the mail while watching Acoustic Tuesday. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hashtag the struggle is real. <laughs> and that, was, that was from John. And uh, you know you're a guitar geek when you buy a Velcro belt with no buckle. I picked up a mechanics belt online. They wear them so they don't scratch the finish on cars. Works well for avoiding buckle rash. That's awesome. That's that, a good tip, too. And that's from uh, Riccio, 1340. Could be Riccio, but I'm going with Riccio. Awesome. Awesome. Um, you know you're a guitar geek when your wife shortens her sentences so they fit in between the riffs you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> that's from Brad. These are amazing. These, that, that rings really true. <laughs> Because so often Whitney will try, she'll, she'll be asking me questions as I'm playing, and I just kind of do this like, nothing's really registering. I just kind of oh, stare. We know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we definitely know that, that look. Tony, can you set that down? Can we finish this? That's my favorite one. Do you have more? I do. There's a couple more. Um, all right. You know you're a guitar geek when you're self employed and your wife puts a sticky note on your computer saying, please do your billing before your Tony's Acoustic Challenge lesson. <laughs> uh, um, you know you're a guitar geek when your two-year-old son passes you his plastic guitar while nodding his head and says, Daddy, it's not in tune. <laughs> that's from Lewis. That's good. I like that. Um, now, I saved this last one here, and I kind of put it underneath the comments because I thought you two could jump in on this one. Okay. Uh, Vic says, you know you're a guitar geek when... Um, he actually inserted tack guitar geek. Okay. You do actual research trying to figure out tack's birth date on ancestry.com. He says, I haven't had much success. So let me go right to the source at Tony and at Levi. When is tack's birth date? We'll have to check on that and let you know. Let yeah. You know. Okay. We don't, we don't literally, exactly know. Off the top of my head, I don't know. Okay. We'll have to go to ancestry.com and figure that out. And there were more. Okay. I want to say on the comments. There were more of, you know, your guitar geek went. That's awesome. fun. And those are all amazing. And what's, yeah. what's awesome about those is that if any non-guitar players heard that, they would just think it was insane. They, they'd be like, yeah. that's ridiculous. That's yeah. not real. I t- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we all know that hashtag the struggle is real. Yeah. I have <laughs> more picks in my pocket than I do change. Like I'm at the yeah. store and I go in my pocket to get change. And I can just imagine what the people are thinking looking at my hand. And I got all these picks mixed in with like quarters. <laughs> I got, hold on. And... I got one really quick. Whitney and I went to uh, Missoula on Monday to go see a show. The, the band was Dorothy. Killer band. Rock band. Not acoustic, but l- absolutely love them. Uh, so we go to the show. And you know how they do that kind of the pat downs when you walk in? Well, here's, here's what I had in my pocket. Okay. Well, it's a capo, right? Because all guitar geeks travel with a capo, yeah, right? Yeah, you need those. Yeah, how do you explain this to a security guy that doesn't play guitar? Looks very suspicious. I know. This is a, a, a capo for my guitar. They're like, yeah. I'm like, no, seriously, I, like, you can check me. There's, there's, this is just a capo. That's good. Yeah. 
So. You know your you know guitar, guitar geek, geek when security pulls you aside and asks what you're capable of. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Levi, you know you're a drum <laughs> geek when... Yeah, I'll, I'll get back okay. to that. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, thank you for everybody that left a You Know You're a Guitar Geek When. And of course, if you want to share one with us, please in the comments below, hashtag You Know You're a Guitar Geek When, and then just go ahead and finish off that statement. The more witty, the more crazy, the better. But of course, you got to keep truth in mind. Yeah. We're some pretty, we're some pretty uh, crazy, geeky, geeky guitar dorks here. But um, please, uh, please submit those in the comments below. And of course, right now, right this very second, I want you to help Guitar Geeks Unite. So please share the Acoustic Tuesday show. Send your friends an email, just a link that says AcousticTuesdayShow.com. Have them explore it. Tell them about it. Please, please share this show. The more, the more guitar geeks we get uniting, the more guitar geeks we get chatting and conversing, the better. And of course, um, I learn a ton. Everybody that watches this show learns a ton. And of course, we get to geek out together, which is truly priceless. So uh, please share the show when you have a free moment. We would certainly appreciate that. Shall we get to item number one? This one's a loaded item. Like a baked potato with bacon bits and sour cream oh, and yeah. cheese. Chives. And chives. Like four different kinds of cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's real. All the cheeses. Tony, well, I'll just say, you know, Tony's been like buried in the corner, like on the phone doing crazy stuff, trying to figure out who he wants for this thing, figure out if he can get them. Uh, doing all sorts of logistics that he's yeah. not used to doing. It's very confusing at, at moments. Yeah, it was and it was a lot of like, guys, what does this mean? And I'm and everybody looks at me and I'm like, oh oh. <laughs> but you know what? Though we haven't had a chance to reflect. We we've only been together uh, just a short while. Yeah, yeah. You know, here. Uh, what am I trying to say? But <laughs> just just a, a high fiving moment is that they're all booked, and I think they're actually all from your top 10 your original like oh yeah like, dream list i think you actually got your dream list well yeah when 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 leave so this is item number one by the way <laughs> is the acoustic life festival's artist lineup and when we were first trying to figure out who we we're gonna get levi's like well start with start with your dream scenario and so i wanted a lineup that was diverse and i wanted a lineup that was acoustic and i wanted a lineup that had songwriting and i wanted a lineup that had uh, just just face melting acoustic guitarness and i gotta say looking at the lineup it's all there it's all there the harmonies are there the acoustic guitar virtuosity is there the songwriting's there the voice is there I, it's all there guys oh it is it's all there it's there but there's there's very important business items we need to discuss before i announce the lineup yes. oh so you're not going to announce the lineup yet i am no 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 no. i am going to announce the lineup don't 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 do that to me. <laughs> but I want to make sure everybody's on the same page. So the Acoustic Life Festival, what the heck is it? Well, the Acoustic Life Festival is happening in Bozeman, June 22nd and June 23rd. It is two days of living your best acoustic life. It's going to be held at the historical Rialto Theater. It has just been renovated. I've seen a couple shows there. It sounds amazing. It's an incredible place to see a show. It's intimate, yet it, it holds a fair amount of people. Uh, and it's just... a um, it's just, wow, it's absolutely stunning. And uh, the Acoustic Life Festival is all about living your best acoustic life with your fellow guitar geeks, fellow TAC members, fellow guitar geeks, all under one roof, being guitar geeks together, waving their guitar geek flags, and enjoying awesome, awesome music, of course, which I'm going to announce. But I, I have, there's, I even wrote notes because there's important numbers I want you to know. So currently... There's only 217 tickets left. This is going to sell out, okay? And it's very important that you get your tickets by April 3rd, okay? And I'm gonna explain why. So you need to get your tickets by April 3rd because, well, quite frankly, it is going to sell out and there's only 217 left. But the benefit of getting your ticket by April 3rd is that you get entered into a giveaway to win one of two travel guitars. We figure, well, if you're going to get a ticket to the Acoustic Life Festival, in the spirit of traveling with your guitar and being a, a guitar geek, wearing it proudly, you need a travel guitar. So we're going to be giving away two travel guitars, one Taylor GS Mini and one Martin Dreadnought Jr. because they're my favorite travel guitars and I love to see guitar geeks traveling with them. They sound great, they're just, they're awesome and they're, and they're nice guitars, they're incredibly, incredibly nice guitars. So all you have to do is get your ticket by April 3rd, you'll be entered into that giveaway and of course, if you have a ticket already, 
you're you're in. You don't have to do anything but show up here in Bozeman on June 22nd and 23rd and, and just enjoy the heck out of two days of acoustic guitar geekiness, okay? So this is super, super, I'm gonna take my glasses off. This is super, super important. Uh, I'll say it again, there's only 217 tickets left, okay? So I'll make sure to keep you in the loop on how many tickets are left and all the important details, but um, we should probably get to... And you can go to AcousticLifeFestival.com. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to get your tickets that <laughs> <laughs> you need to get, um, go to AcousticLifeFestival.com. And, of course, you can grab the tickets right there. And, again, I don't know if I mentioned this before, guys, but there's only 217 left. How many? 217. Mm-hmm. You know, the, uh, the first batch of tickets mm-hmm. went in, like, just minutes yeah so this the second phase this is going to be fun to watch well yeah and once you find out who's playing you will literally have no excuse to to not come oh right who tony tons of people who's playing tons of people got tickets without even knowing who was playing well here's okay first okay hold on i know i know (laughs) i know i know so here's the deal whether you got tickets today or you've had tickets for a while or you're planning to get tickets in the comments below please let us know. Let us know where you're going to be coming to Bozeman from, okay? And let us know what you're most excited about the Acoustic Life Festival. And let me give you some reasons to be excited about the Acoustic Life Festival in the form of who's actually playing. All right, let's do it. Should we do this? World Class Entertainment. Let me just just say this. Let me say this real quick. (laughs) There's four acts total, and each of them has been featured on Acoustic Tuesday before. So that being said... Shall we start the countdown? The first act I want to present to you is an acoustic guitar maestro, if you will. Somebody that I admire, that I've admired for a very long time, and I am so excited to be able to see him play for the very first time in my life. Uh, The first act I'd like to announce is Antoine Dufour. So I got to be honest, I'm super pumped. And when I heard Antoine was going to be at the show, I thought, oh, this is so cool. I just love you. I love the way he plays. I love his melodies. It's intricate. It's cool. It's interesting. So he's going to be here. Uh, the second act I've se- is the only act on the list that I've seen live before. And when she confirmed, I was over the moon because her songwriting is amazing. Her playing is outstanding. Her voice is uh can I say intoxicating? Because it is. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and she has a new album coming out at the end of March. And so I'd like to uh, announce the fact that Caitlin Canty will be playing the Acoustic Life Festival. What will I do? What will I do to your love? cannot wait to see her playing on the Rialto stage. It's just a perfect venue. Oh, I'm just, uh. there's two more left. There's two more left. And the third act that I would like to announce is one that I'm stuck on right now. Uh, usually I do a, what, what I'm listening to this week. Uh, but this week I've kind of had a playlist of the Acoustic Life Festival artists. And I'm, I'm happy to say that on that playlist and coming to Bozeman in June for the Acoustic Life Festival are none other than Rob Ikes and Trey Hensley. Wow. Fever hit me early on when I was still a kid. I was born to chase the black tops, so that's just what I did. The first time I strummed a guitar and sang a sad old country song, I knew everywhere I traveled to be a long way from home. I played honky tonks and dive bars. All right, so this last act was kind of my Hail Mary because, well, I had emailed. 
And then I heard that they were in Australia touring and I thought, ah, shoot, I don't think it's gonna happen. And then I got an email back randomly one day. You know those days when you just don't expect to get a, a, an email back, all of a sudden it came back. And it said, oh, we've been in Australia, we just got back. I think we're available for that date. And after some other emails, all the everything got worked out, and I'm happy to announce that the Small Glories will be playing the Acoustic Life Festival here in Bozeman. So let's have a listen to that. I rolled down my twenties, moving on through my thirties. I got forties ahead of me on down the road. I gotta get there tonight, some say you gotta use up all your daylight before it goes out for good. But I hope when I'm an older man, I ain't dreaming the same story about holding a sheer guitar without any strings. Cause I'm freezing up in my hotel, feeling the love to the ones I belong to. I ain't treating you right. So there you have it, the full lineup for the Acoustic Life Festival happening in Bozeman, June 22nd and June 23rd. We've got Antoine Dufour, Caitlin Canty, Rob Ikes, and Trey Hensley, and of course, the Small Glories, a weekend full of acoustic geekiness, and I want you to be a part of it. To get tickets, all you have to do is go to AcousticLifeFestival.com. You'll see the tickets for sale right there. Go ahead and get one for you, one for your friend, one for your whole jam group if you want. There, again, I'll mention it, there's only 217 left as of right now, so please, 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 if this is something you're considering, take action because those are not going to last long. And of course, if you take action by April 3rd, you'll get entered in to win one of two travel guitars. And I just wanna meet you. I wanna, have, I wanna hang with guitar geeks for an entire weekend. And it's shaping up to be awesome. I mean, when these acts were confirmed, Levi and, and Noah as my witness, I was, there was high fives happening. <laughs> There was noises and there was screams and high fives. Yep, it was good stuff. And, and I just great. couldn't, I of, couldn't believe it. Yeah. I couldn't, I, I still can't believe it. I, I'm just super pumped. I, I can't, I can't even wait. <laughs> So I want to thank you for uh, joining us for Acoustic Tuesday, episode 28. Uh, but before I sign off for the day, we got to take a sneak peek into next week. And you have to know your trivia answer for the day. So let's quickly revisit that question. In what year was the Harmony Musical Instrument Company founded? Was it 1892, 1916, 1964, or 1975? And I'll tell you right now, each answer is significant, but if you answered the year 1892, you were correct. Let me explain a little bit further. In 1892, the Harmony Musical Instrument Company was founded by Wilhelm Schultz. But as I mentioned before, each answer, each year is very significant to the history of the Harmony Musical Instrument Company because in 1916, well, that was the year that Sears and Roebuck purchased Harmony. In 1964, 1965, Harmony Musical Instrument Company actually peaked in its production, making, get this, 350,000 instruments that year. And in 1975, the Harmony Guitar Company ceased to only later sell the name to a company that reissued import versions of Harmony guitars. So that's a that's a loaded trivia question for today. I just I had no idea that the Harmony company was founded in 1892. That baffled me because I always had heard about them, uh, you know, the instruments in the 60s. They made a ton. So I just assumed the 60s, but it was actually 1892. Pretty cool factoid. Let's go ahead and take a sneak peek into next week. And of course, if you're curious about anything I discussed today on Acoustic Tuesday, uh, please go to AcousticTuesdayShow.com, click on episode 28, and you'll see full-blown links, descriptions, and everything to, to all of the things I discussed today. 
And, uh, of course, you can catch Acoustic Tuesday every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time on YouTube or as an audio podcast. Again, go to AcousticTuesdayShow.com to grab that. So what's happening next week on Acoustic Tuesday, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm here to tell. And next week on Acoustic Tuesday, we're going to find a comfy seat. We're going to learn about a duo that I'm just I'm dying to introduce to you. I could not wait to get them on the Acoustic Tuesday show, and I cannot wait to share their music with you. And we're gonna the guitar geekiness is gonna abound next week. It's gonna come to a, to to a pinnacle because we're gonna look at some stellar guitar signals from Acoustic Tuesday viewers. I cannot wait to see you next week. Thank you for tuning in this week, and from Noah, from Levi, from myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being a guitar geek. Thank you for sharing the guitar geek love with us. And of course, we'll see you next Tuesday on Acoustic Tuesday. Cheers to you.